So, requested by Zulite the Great, we have a Hell in a Cell review. This is going to be very short. Fuck WWE. Fuck Hell in a Cell. It was so shitty to the point that I didn't even watch it. I was only intrigued by the main event, which was seen The Fiend versus Seth Rollins for the dumbest title I've ever seen for the Twizzlers Championship. <laughs> and, they, and the match ended by a disqualification or a referee stoppage, whatever you want to say. At the end of the day, it was the dumbest decision I've ever fucking seen in my life. That's your Hell in a Cell review. Fuck WWE. Fuck Hell in a Cell. I do not want to see Hell in a Cell for a while. So fuck it. God bless America. If there is a fucking God anyways. Because after what we just saw. Is there even a God? <laughs> anyways. Welcome to. Welcome to Point of View. Hosted by me, Mal. Partner with Wrestling Video Games Universe Amino, if you got point of view. I just want to start off with like how college life is right now. I go to community college, PGCC Community College, and I am part time student. I'm trying to get a job so I can make some moolah so I can freaking pay for like Action Arcade Wrestling 3, Chikara Action Arcade Wrestling. Cause I really, cause I love the, cause, cause I love the Action Arcade Wrestling series. Good shit. Action Arcade Wrestling 2 was actually pretty lit. When I had my Xbox 360, it was really lit. So yeah. And um, I just can't wait to get it. I, I, I kind of want your car, you know, Action Arcade Wrestling. Just to play it, you know. So, um... I would like to say uh, I would like to say that like I really really am looking forward to the upcoming years of pro wrestling games cuz we are getting a lot of pro wrestling games lately, bro. Not just with 2K cuz fuck 2K. And um but we're also getting this game called Retromania, which is a wrestling game that's coming out First quarter of next year. In my opinion, I seen I seen the gameplay. It's it's pretty cool. Like it's pretty retro. I I like, I could vibe with that shit. To be honest, I could vibe with that, but I'm not a big fan of it. Like, I am looking forward to play it probably, but I'm probably won't not be playing it for. Cause I don't know. I just don't know. I need to see what the roster looks like. I need to see how the gameplay's final gameplay is gonna look like, but it looks promising. Okay, looks promising. We might cover it, so yeah. Do you want me to briefly? Zulai also want me to breathe to briefly talk about TK20. All I can say is this. God help me. I seen the career mode trailer for 2K20, and it's it, it's okay. Like it's not the best, but it's like it's okay. All right. I'm not probably gonna play it. The most I'll probably do is probably just you know fuck around with it, join some colleagues and like. Whatever, cause at the end of the day, it's just it, it's a wrestling game. Wrestling game is supposed to entertain people. Wrestling game is supposed to bring out the community and shit. But at the end of the day, I really don't care about this game. The most I would do is probably just fucking like play the. I I'll probably here's the thing. I played career mode for the other 2K games. I got bored of it. 
Like, 2K15 career mode got me bored. 16 career mode got me bored. 17 career mode got me bored. I never played 18s. And I, I, I never played 19s. And I probably won't play 20s. Just because you know why? I'm probably going to be bored as shit. <laughs> It's like, here's what I don't get about 2K. You got these motherfucking, um... You got this bomb-ass career mode, but you're not putting that career into, like, a bomb-ass storyline in the WWE. So the WWE writers went to 2K, wrote a WWE 2K storyline, and then all of a sudden, boom, you got your 2K storyline. But but it doesn't but that is interesting, more interesting than the motherfucking shit you see on TV. What? The actual hell is up with y'all? I don't get it. I don't get it. This makes me not want to buy 2K. I mean, <laughs> this makes me not want to buy 2K. Like I'm like I, like like no joke. I, I feel like I'm not buying 2K no more. This is your point of view podcast, and we talk about efeds, leagues, and wrestling. And I kind of want to help people grow their efeds, so I might. Showcase. I might review. I might review efeds. I might talk about efeds, and I might give my point of view across. So I'm gonna put Fire Pro on the screen, just in case y'all want to look at the Fire Pro match while y'all hear me talk. So so we can at least have something to like you know something on the screen. So just a boring ass picture of my damn Fire Pro, fi- my 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 version of me on Fire Pro, and shit. So yeah, as you can see, Pro Wrestling Vendetta is is, is a thing. Holy shit, that that kind of got me that that kind of off guard. <laughs> but anyways, let's talk about serious feds and comedy feds. Serious feds are basically like. How to put this? Serious leagues or comedy leagues or serious feds or comedy feds. Um, some serious feds is like CR Fire Pro, CWF. Well, even though they could fuck around a little bit, CWF, Figure Four, etc., etc., Zip Japan, etc., etc. Comedy feds are like bad news wrestling because that shit is a whole clown company. It's not bad. I haven't watched a few episodes lately because I don't know about because I just didn't really watch no episodes. Well, I didn't really pay attention to bad news wrestling because because uh, I just didn't. I'm still waking up, so don't mind me. I I, I might be yawning mid sentence, which is going to annoy the shit out of me. But let's just be honest. I I I could watch a comedy fed. Like I can. I just don't want to. I don't know why I don't want to. I I just don't. Like when fans are not serious, it just kind of a turn off to me. Like I like I'm more about storytelling and trying to and trying to get me grasp my attention because I got ADHD. <laughs> like in all seriousness, I do get ADHD and, and, and anxiety and, and like and like depression. So uh, so I need something to keep me off my um off that shit. I think I got ADHD, but I don't know. I. 
comedy threads. I, I if I want if I watch a comedy thread, it's gonna make me laugh, and I kind of do want him, and 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 I do want to laugh, but sometimes I just want to like, you know, be serious, you know, just give me a, an intriguing storyline that could like caught my attention and shit, you know. <sighs> But at the end of the day, it's mostly like, I just want something to like make me, you know, care about the wrestler. If I don't care about the wrestler, then you have failed. And that's one of my problems, to be honest, because I do want my, because, because, because I do want wrestler, because, yeah, a little, little. I do want fans to care about my wrestlers, but due to my shit, like, basically, ending feds, starting feds, start over, same old wrestlers, but the fed ends and all that shit, my little difficulties running a fucking fed properly, that's gonna turn off people. Like, I learned from Hazard Zone Wrestling. And I learned from IWR and shit. Bam. <laughs> but, it, I just wish that I could, like, have fans, you know. But, this is not about me. This is about serious fans, comedy fans. Like, when it comes down to a comedy fan, you gotta be entertaining here. Like, that's fucking entertainment right there. That's money. Entertain the fans, make them laugh, make them, like, die of laughter, make them, like, cry in laughter, and all that other extra shit, you know, just some shit like that, you know? With a serious fan, you gotta attract the fans, make them care about the wrestlers, make them care about the storyline, make them care about this, make them care about that. You gotta make them care about your product. With a comedy fed, they don't have to care about the product. They, they, just, they just want to laugh. Like something that could. Basically, like a scapegoat. Wrestling is basically. Wrestling is basically like a scapegoat. You know? You know, like. You, you, you escape reality just to, just to care about some other random. Cares about some random ass. Wrestlers that you know put on a show for you. And um shit man like like my like 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 in my opinion I'm more more into serious wrestling. Like like a like in reality a a, a new Japan or like a um and like fictional like a um CR God damn it, helicopters flying over my damn house. Was well, was not my house, it's just whatever. I'm 18, fuck you. <laughs> but like um basically like you just if I want to look at it, look at it. Dang, I keep yawning. Like if 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 I want to look at it like like in this way, I feel like when it comes down to like federations and shit, my view is this: you can have all this. Hold up, like the close Firefox, close Discord. And about to close this because encoding overload and all that other extra bullshit. That's a goddamn lie. <laughs> but like, um, I just want people to be entertained. You have your ways of showing storylines. You have your ways of showing characters. Like you ain't doing it wrong. You're doing it differently. 
like my man Cedric says, you're not wrong, you're doing it differently. Best quote I've ever heard in my life. Still the best quote I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> but yeah, so um, that's that. I had an idea, right? Back in the day. It was going to be a um, super show. Like an event. And the event was, was going to be... Oh my god, it's fucking yelling. And like the... And like the, and like the event was going to be called E-Fed Evolution. E Fed Evolution was going to be a show, not a Fed, more like a super show. And the super show is going to be have like eight matches. Because if we talk about Fire Pro Time, Fire Pro Time is like. Two times one second, some shit like that. I don't know. And E Evolution was gonna be like one of them shows where like it's gonna be like how else was gonna do this? It was gonna be a show where like all feds come together. It's not like a Fed exclusive match. It's like Fed versus Fed, this versus that, one on ones, two on twos, battle royales, and all the other extra shit. And like, it's basically like a showcase of all people from all E Feds and shit. So, like, it was going to be something fun. Like something that can like entertain people and get people to see the product. And I'm going to like sh- put links in the description to other people's products. That's that's how the show's going to work. Cuz uh, cuz at the end of the day, you just want to see like a wrestling show. Like you want to see wrestling matches, right? So why not have a show where like they showcase other people's wrestling shows, well wrestling wrestlers from different shows, and we just have a match, and winner gets a cup. <laughs> Everybody's a winner, <laughs> you know. But that's just my little idea, all right. Like, I might not do it, and I might do it. I just need to make the logo for it. Because I want this show, because... It's something I always wanted to do for a while. But I just don't have, like, the time and day or some shit like that. Or I don't have the motivation, because I don't... Because I don't got... Because I better get anybody that wants to, you know, join the show or some shit like that. But yeah, that's just my little Efe Evolution idea. Probably not the best idea. Probably like just like a meh idea or some shit. But at the same, but same time, it's like I just want to have fun. I just want to have fun. I just want to do this. I want to do that. Encoding. Oh my god. I'm sick and tired. Of, I'm sick and tired of this shit. Just keep popping up, encoding this, encoding that. My God, bro. Anyways, how long we got? Cause I want to make sure this is episodic. This is worth your time. Efed show length and how to use it wisely. Oh my god, you would not believe 2K shows be long as hell. 
Fire Pro shows be like OC like long. But that's not a bad thing for y'all. For both 2K and Fire Pro. It's not a bad thing. It's just how you do it. I'm not gonna tell you how to how to make your shows like longer, shorter, this, that, sneakers, hats. No, I'm not gonna do that. What I am gonna do is tell you how to use it wisely. My shows be short as hell. Reason why my short my shows be short is because I don't have the time and day to make it long. I want my I want my shows to be like short to the point and straightforward. If it's going to be long, it's going to be long. But if it's going to be short, it's going to be short. Like how I do my shows is basically like my shows. It'll be short. It'll be to the point. But, but my pay per views, pay per views or events will be long, like like an hour or so a minute. And my episodic shows be like 30 something minutes or 20 something minutes. The shortest, 15 because of matches and like no promos and shit. So, um, I believe, um, mostly 2K shows be like long, like two hours long, like because the matches be long or they be like. Hell of matches and stuff. Versus. Fire Pro shows be like. And like. Try to hit the hour mark. But, it's, but it can't. I'm mostly comparing it to. Like CAWF to a normal 2K show. C CAWF one goes an hour long. Because they got a lot of matches. They got promos. They got this. They got that. Versus. A CWF joint try to really, wait no what the fuck <laughs> hold up I, I confuse myself <laughs> okay okay I'm gonna start over a, C, a, C, a CWF show be close to an hour they want to do an hour so like it'd be like matches promos and all that stuff same with CR CR got matches promos and they almost like hour long not to mention, one of the shows was like almost two hours. A 2K show, oh my god. You gotta find a time and day to watch that crap. It's not crap, my bad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to everybody who who, who does some um, 2K shows. But you, you gotta find a time and day to, to watch that long ass show. It's not bad. Producing wise, it's freaking awesome. Match wise, it's it's okay, like, like like it's a 2K game, so of course it's gonna be like glitchy and all that shit. But they made the best of it, which I really appreciate. Some 2K shows, their producing is awesome, but the match quality is like boring. FAM Forever Movement had the best producing and match quality I've ever seen in my life. They're making me feel like it's an actual wrestling show. And I miss them so much. <laughs> they now start team. I don't know if they do another show, but they just they awesome people. Anyways, like to use your length wisely is to make sure you got like a like a okay um if you want to do an hour show right like go by like go bypass an hour or some shit you gotta get your formula you gotta get the formula correct you gotta get the match card like OC good like you gotta know your matches cause if you don't know your matches your match is gonna be absolutely chaotic like your match card is gonna be bad Know your matches, know everything. I'm probably the last person to tell you about match card and all the other extra stuff because my match cards back in the day, I put the lowest matches like I, I 
back in the day, right? My match card was to be retarded. What do you mean? Retarded. Well, let me tell you something, brother. I used to put my five star matches in the main event and put my one star matches in the freaking beginning. Now I am matured. Now I want the now I want the opening matches to be bomb and in like the main events to be bomber. Pumping bomber. So um I try to do better. But at the end, but at the end of the day, you gotta like like what you gotta do like like what you got to do is basically if you want your matches to be absolutely the best, like your match card to be the best and all that stuff, you got to do something better. You like you literally got to be like on your A game. Because at the end of the day, you, because at the end of the day, let me just make another point. I want, like, damn, I just look at the screen, I'm just like, she already trying to break her neck. But, like, what I'm trying to say is basically, like, if you really want your matches like it shows to be absolutely good like OC good you got to put some you, you got to put in some work man because uh, because the length of your shows can turn on and turn off people Like, people probably don't have the time to watch, like, a two-hour event, and it's, a, like, a Fire Pro event. And they already expect it, due to Fire Pro's time, they already expect it, it's gonna be, like, 20 fucking matches in one card. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry if, if I swear a lot, because I'm trying to give a point across, I cannot, I, I, I literally need to swear. <laughs> Cause, cause I'm not PG at all. I can't, I can't make a PG. If you want to see a PG podcast, go to some other fucking podcast, okay? But like, anyways, like Fire Pro match length should be. This is my opinion. This is only my opinion. Like I'm, like I'm probably wrong, and some people can relate to this. Fire Pro match length, like Fire Pro, not match length. Fire Pro show length has to be an hour. If it's two hours, that's too long. <laughs> I'm talking to you, figure four. <laughs> that four hour, no, John, that four hour show. Wait, what? Hold on. Let me get my, let me get my shit right. I don't know who, but there was a four hour fire pro event. It's either four hours, three hours, or like two hours. I can't do that. <laughs> that's too much. Make it. Night one, night two, at least. <laughs> don't the, don't take it personally. I'm just playing with y'all. Whoever's, whoever's watching this podcast, they know who they are. <laughs> Making a long ass show, but it'd be good for real. Producing wise, good. Everything's good. It's just a damn show list. <laughs> But, uh, wait, have I been saying match length all this time? I don't know, man. But the, but, um, show length has to be a key priority to your show. A four-hour 2K show. Understandable because the, because the show matches be long. But... It's um, but it's just too much, man. Like the only time you watch a real four-hour event if it's WrestleMania. Or or Wrestle Kingdom. Because it's real people, and you and you, and you can tolerate that. Because 
real fucking matches be like, who the fuck is calling me? Like, real matches, it be like 20 minutes because everybody want to be a Kenny Omega. Everybody want a good long match to get five stars. Motherfucker, no. But, yeah, that's, oh my god, I could, I can't go on anymore. Next topic. <laughs> okay, this is, okay, this is probably going to be a short topic. But, I'm going to put show reviews and watch alongs. That, oh, crap, I literally put that, okay. Okay, I kind of messed up on my notes. Show reviews. If you want your wrestling show, your, your, if, you, if you want your backyard show, e fed show, to be reviewed, tell me in the Discord. Because I got a Discord for e fed champions. Well, well, D! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just looking at the damn screen. I'm just like, that's a D. Not like dick. I'm talking about like the wrestling move called D. <laughs> Hiromu Takahashi. Tanahashi Takahashi. Wait. Hiromu. I'm just, I'm just calling Hiromu. Hiromu's move called D. Because I, cause I kind of got mixed up with Hiroshi Takahashi or Hiroshi Tan Tanahashi. Yeah, ta- yeah, Takahashi. Hiromu Takahashi. Anyways, um, I wanted to do wrestling e reviews. Like, it's going to be a single video. It's not going to be on the podcast. It's going to be a single video. And basically what, and basically what I'm going to do is basically like, um, <clears throat> it's going to be a wrestling review. I want you to review your e feds, review your backyard shows. If you want your shows to be, if you want your shows to be reviewed, put it in the comments below, or join the Discord, be the e fed champions Discord, and submit your show. I'll watch it, I'll review it, and you don't have to pay me a dime. I'll be honest with you. I would tell you if it's a good show, a bad show, good matches, bad matches, and I and and I'm gonna be very honest. I won't I won't beat around the bush. I would talk about the match, take some notes. If I don't review the show, may God smite me. <laughs> <laughs> and watch alongs. I want to do a watch along with y'all. Whether it's a WWE show, a TNA show, a New Japan show, a E-Fed, a Backyard show, you know, just something, you know, just to interact with y'all. You know, if you, if you want to join a call, like a Discord chat or something, join join the E-Fed champions and we could like, you know, have a little watch along, record the video and just have have a good time. Somebody's busted open. But, like, you know, just something fun with y'all. Because I know cause, cause I know y'all are tired of, of hearing my voice. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, just something fun, you know? Next joint. Super Shows! I'm cringing like a motherfucker right now because of, cause of what I am doing. Super shows. Let's talk about super shows. If anybody want to do a super show, that's fine with me. Cause like a joint show, a bond show, a super show, showcasing all the e feds and all that other shit. Oh my god, that's a poison rana. Why didn't she go for the pen? But like. Who doesn't like this? Who does like super shows? 
you know, super shows are meant to like they are meant to showcase other people's shows. So that's what a super show basically is. They're meant to like showcase other people's shows. They meant to like basically a lot of things. So the wrestling video game Amino Super Show. This this joint right here. I am going to put a match on the super show. When they do another super show. I'm going to put a match on there. So when it comes down to when it comes down to super shows they can be long as they want to be. I don't really care anymore. <laughs> that's on. That's in all honesty. I don't really care if they like short, long, match by match uploads. I really don't care no more because that's their business. That's because you got twenty e feds and you only got like ten matches. Or 20 matches. I don't know. This ain't Wrestle Kingdom, my G. <laughs> this ain't WrestleMania. Well, this is kind of is WrestleMania. But this is like a... It's not a Saudi show. Fuck that bullshit. But it's basically... It's a fucking show. But at the end of the day, that's their business. They do what they want to do. And God help us all. But, yeah, that's all I got to say about Super Show. So, I so, um, guess I could just move on. Uh, this is cause uh, this is actually going to be kind of interesting. We're not we're not interesting because it's only my cause it's my topic about my fed, but I'm just going to give y'all a little uh, a little announcement. The NAW paper pay per view or event schedule is only going to be three for now until next year. And since it's since I, like I call this like I call this part of the um year the big three. Because it's literally like three damn holidays in a row. Three big holidays in a row. You got Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Or Hanukkah, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. Basically, three celebratory days. Well, two. Because who celebrates Halloween anyways? The fuck? But, um... But, yeah, like, the big three, like, holidays is gonna be for big three events. Well, not big three events, because, I don't know. They probably gonna be big. Anyways, one pay-per-view... Or one event, whatever you want to call it, has been confirmed. Factors of Fear is the first event for 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 NAW, and then there's gonna be two other events coming out soon. The names are coming soon, so yeah. And if I and if everything goes well, next year probably is gonna be another event. I think I want to call it. New Year's something because I know it's gonna be called New Year's something. I don't know. New Year's resolution or some shit like that. I don't know. But it's gonna be something, all right. And I swear to you, I ain't gonna swear to nobody, but like, cause it's fucking pointless to swear. But for y'all, 
and only for y'all. I'm doing this for my entertainment and, and to give y'all some entertainment stuff. I'm probably going to be shit at it, but it's going to be fun. Because I get to mess with y'all and basically give y'all a storyline. Because that's all I want to do. Give y'all a good storyline. Give y'all a good, you know, something. And make things fun again, you know. Because sometimes making EFS are freaking boring, freaking annoying, and you just get burnt the fuck out. <laughs> And I do not want to get burnt out ever again. So, I'm doing this fed and keeping this fed. If I don't keep this fed, may God smite me. Anyways, Pro Wrestling Vendetta. Let's talk about Pro Wrestling Vendetta, my little um channel fed. What the hell is Pro Wrestling? What the hell is Pro Wrestling Vendetta? Pro Wrestling Vendetta is a fed that I started only just to be on only to just to be on the Uprising Network. I don't know if it's gonna be I don't know if if, if it's gonna be on the Uprising Network or or on the Wrestling Amino um channel. But this fed is gonna be a fed not to end all feds but the fed to build up. Well, to do monthly events, weekly matches, or promos, and to, like, tell a story. The, the events are going to be long, not dreaded, but the events are going to be absolutely fun. The difference between... NAW and Parson Vendetta is that it's scheduling. NAW is gonna be weekly tele, weekly episodic shows. Three matches per show, promos, and storytelling. Pro Wrestling Vendetta. If you think about New Japan Pro Wrestling, Dragon Gate Wrestling. Um, Pro Wrestling Noah, A Japan. I said A Japan. What the fuck? All Japan Pro Wrestling, <laughs> and how they do their scheduling. Or CZW, if you want to go that far into America, CZ CZW and um, Pro Wrestling Gorilla, Gorilla. Or PWG, yeah, PWG, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is person C -C gorilla. Um, how do how do they do this stuff? This is not weekly. It's mostly monthly episodic shows. Well, not episodic, but like monthly shows to like in store lines, do tournaments, all that extra that stuff. That's how pro wrestling finale is gonna probably operate I said probably because I don't know how far I'm going to take this show I hope to take this show to be like a thing where like the monthly deal and weekly matches and promos are going to be worth it so the roster with Pro Wrestling Vendetta is going to be different and it's going to have some same people from NAW. Think it, think, think, think it as like NXT, like NAW's, like NAW's probably either NXT and Pro Wrestling Vendetta's probably like New Japan. No. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't know how to put it. Okay, I'm sorry. I like this is unscripted. I didn't script this. I just want to ramble and talk about wh about what I want to do and how I want to operate this thing. 
NAW is my flagship show. IWR was it was my flagship show, but due to corruption of data and I can't re- retrieve that data back. NAW is going to be my flagship show. I don't feel like recreating everybody from scratch. It's too long. It's dreading. I want to create new people. I want new people in my roster. There'll be some people that you might remember because I got the data. Well, some stuff from the workshop. But most of it's gone. And that damn high yes I took. Oh my god, bro. But like, um, Pro Wrestling Fifth and Dead is gonna have a separate roster. Probably some still same people from 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 NAW might be over there. But it's gonna be more. But but Pro Wrestling Fifth is gonna be a lot more. Um, edgier. NAW is going to be like just NAW, but person Vendetta. Edgy storylines, edgy wrestling, like hardcore. It's going to be more hardcore. And it's going to be a lot more like CZW in a way. I wanted to start, like, before I, before I thought about NAW, I thought about BXW. Big, big extreme wrestling. Or Battle Extreme Wrestling. BZW. Battle Zone Wrestling. That sounds tough. Battle Zone Wrestling. I might keep that. As is an indie shit. As the indie show. <laughs> but. The thing is. I wanted to start. Pro Wrestling for Fendetta because I wanted to be on a network. But at this point I don't really, I, I don't know if it's possible right now. I already made some people for it. And if they and if it doesn't work then I might not do it. But at the end of the day, it's for my fun. It's for my entertainment, so meh. God damn it, helicopter keep coming on the damn house. Next. Advertising. Advertising is the key to getting views. Advertise your show, man. Advertise this, advertise that. Everybody want to advertise their show, so I started this Discord, be the EFA champion, as a Discord to advertise your EFAs, advertise this, advertise that. So hopefully it works. Uh, I'm. Getting exhausted from talking. <laughs> so let's just uh, go by this last topic. I was gonna do a how how our book and closing thoughts, but I might start doing um tournaments, league tournaments next time. I don't know. Cause I want to do cause cause I want to talk about tournaments. The league tournaments, but motherfucker, I'm getting exhausted. <laughs> like Jesus Christ, man, I'm getting exhausted talking a lot. It's cool and all, but I don't know if I should, 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 should keep going. I might be a soldier, but fuck it, I'm, I'm gonna be a soldier. Tournaments and league tournaments. Oh my god. Tournaments and lead tournaments. Oh my god. Now my people are calling the house phone. Who's calling? 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that number. Anyways, tournaments or league tournaments. I think when it comes down to when it comes down to tournaments or league tournaments, tournaments are basically the best thing to do. If you want to crown a champion, if you want to do this, you want to do that. League tournaments are for the war dogs. <laughs> I say war dogs because they're fucking crazy doing them damn things, bruh. Because you got a tournament and a league tournament. Like, I mean, you got, like, a league tournament is like, it's like the G1 Climax. And the tournaments are basically like the King of the Rings or the New Japan Cups. For those who want to do league tournaments, you are a god. Because it's going because it takes a lot of dedication, a lot of patience, and, and a lot of recordings, my G. If you want to do a motherfucking tournament, then you are also a dog. Because it, because you need to, because a 32 man tournament, you need mental help. <laughs> I did that with the Grizzly Tournament. It was successful. But my god, it was long. Round one, I was a dumbass for recording all of round one tournament. And not doing it day by day. And then I did the other joint. Oh my god. <sighs> I am exhausted. My god, why am I killing myself doing this? You know what? I'm about to end this episode. I'm talk I, I, like I'm gonna talk about the other tournaments. Like I'm gonna talk about tournaments and league tournaments later. But I'm just gonna go away. So if this match doesn't end, then it doesn't end. So I want to say thank you guys for watching the, this video. Thank you guys for supporting me and thank you for everything. This has been a drag. Now I'm a Fire Pro running store because now I'm a charger. God damn it. Motherfucking. Want the juice and shit. But yeah, so I'm going to go away. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting me. And thank you guys for everything. I like to thank John, Cedric, Zulite, Superstar, Hunter James, and all of the all of the E Feds like masters and shit. Thank you guys for watching. That was an awesome ending to a match. And I'ma put this on the I'm a, I, this is gonna be on the Mino. This 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 is gonna be on the Discord. This is gonna be on everything. So, ugh, silent clutch. So I'm gonna go away. See ya. Ciao.